Lockheed AC-130 is the aerial artillery battery for immediate support to army units on the battlefield. It is a variant of the transport plane Lockheed C-130. The main usage is the fire support of reconnaissance and sabotage units and the army. The crew of AC-130 U Spooky includes 13 people, 2 pilots, a navigator, 2 observers, 4 radio electronics operators, a fire control officer, and 3 gunners. The U.S. Air Force at the moment has 21 aircraft, some of which have been being lately involved in the testing of the tactical combat laser. One of the options of new generation gunships armament. Recently, AC-130U have been upgraded and are now commonly referred to as AC-130 plus 4. The armament includes a 25mm automatic rapid fire aerogun GORE-12U developed based on a 30mm 7-barrel Gatling type cannon with the rotating barrel unit. The 40mm cannon L60 developed as far back as in 1932 by the Swedish company Bofors. And the 105mm Meter Cannon 102 designed for the support of infantry, landing forces, and assault groups. Modification of AC-130 What Stinger 2 assumes installing a set of guided air bombs GBU-44, Viper Strike, or 10 guided missiles Raytheon AGM-176, as well as replacement of the 105mm howitzer with the 120mm mortar able to use a wide range of ammunition and special equipment, such as mortar flares XM-395, PGMM, with semi-active laser guidance, and even a miniature unmanned aerial vehicle. The first major task for American gunships was participation in military operations during the Vietnam War. The Americans used these aircraft for hunting road vehicles on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, a series of land and water transport routes with a total length of over 20,000 kilometers in the territory of Laos and Cambodia used during the Vietnam War by the Democratic Republic of Vietnam for transportation of military supplies and troops to South Vietnam. The dry season of 1970-1971 was the most successful for the AC-130H aircraft. The Night Hunters chalked up approximately 12,000 destroyed and damaged vehicles. However, it is worth noting that this figure is very conditional since 5,000 more trucks were destroyed by the crews of other aircraft. At the same time, according to the U.S. intelligence, the entire fleet of Viet Cong included 18,000 vehicles. So, the pilots apparently made false claims in their reports. However, in 1972 the situation changed as the U.S. intelligence discovered the first Soviet air defense systems S-75 on the trail. The aircraft AC-130 automatically faced a mortal danger as the clumsy propeller aircraft could not escape from the ground to air missiles. But the Americans did not dare to cancel flights because the night hunters were very effective, and March 31st was the day of reckoning when an AC-130 armed with a 105mm gun was hit by anti-aircraft guns, 15 crew members survived and were evacuated to the mainland by helicopters. But two days later, an S-75 missile downed the second gunship and the whole crew was killed. The loss of two aircraft forced the Americans to abandon flights, and April 2nd 1972 was the last day of the use of these aircraft in Vietnam. After Vietnam, the AC-130 aircraft were out of work for a long time. Their ground time was interrupted in October 1983 in the course of the U.S. invasion of Grenada, Operation Urgent Fury, crews of gunships suppressed several small caliber anti-aircraft artillery batteries of Grenada and provided fire cover for the landing of paratroopers. The next operation involving AC-130 aircraft was Operation Just Cause. The U.S. invasion of Panama. The fighting lasted for a short time, from December 20, 1989 to January 7, 1990. The scarce air defense and the very small area of the conflict made AC-130 the king of the air. During Operation Desert Storm, four AC-130H aircraft of the 4th Squadron made 50 sorties, their total flight time exceeded 280 hours. The main aim of the gunships was the destruction of launchers of the Scud ballistic missiles and radars for early detection of air targets. 
but they failed to perform either task. During the operation it was found out that in the condition of a desert, hot weather, and sandy and dusty air, the infrared systems of the aircraft were absolutely useless. Moreover, during the covering of ground troops in the fight for Al-Hafi, one of AC-130Hs was hit by an Iraqi anti-aircraft unit with a manpad Strela II. A Soviet development of the 1960s killed the entire crew. This loss confirmed the truth known since the Vietnam War, such aircraft are totally useless in areas full of air defense systems.